What am I going to do in the next 16 years? What's the best thing I can do? Get ready to meet God. Believe there's not a God. All right. If I told you, you who don't believe in God, if I told you that this glass sprang into existence, this glass made itself, no man made this glass, would you believe it? Would you believe I just told you this thing made itself? No. No. Well, if this glass can't make itself, if I told you those clothes you have on wove themselves, nobody created them, those clothes made themselves, you wouldn't believe it. But if your, if your clothes didn't make itself, if that glass couldn't make itself, if this building didn't make itself, then how did the moon get out there? How did the stars and Jupiter and Neptune and Mars and the sun, how did nature, how, how did all this come here if didn't know why is something planning to make it? So what I'm saying is, I believe that we're going to be judged. Scary thing to think that I'm going to hell, and to burn eternally forever, because we live how long? 80 years? So, we don't have it about 80 years on earth. This is a test to see where will we spend our life in heaven or hell. This is not the life now. Your real self is inside you. Your body gets old. You don't have no teeth. Your hair is leaving you. Your bodies get tired. But your soul and your spirit never die. That's going to live forever. So your body is just housing your soul and spirit. So God is testing us on how we treat each other, how we live, to see where our real home be in heaven. So this physical stuff don't last for so long. So we don't stay here. We're just trustees. We don't own nothing. Even your children are not yours. Your wife is not yours. You don't own your children. You don't own your family. The most important thing about life is what's going to happen when you die. Are you going to go to heaven or hell? And that's eternity. So it just scares me to think that I'm going to die one day and go to hell. And to go to hell and God is going to judge my soul. The police, I might kill people. I might rob people. The FBI, Scotland Yard might not catch me. But when I die, somebody's watching me and keeping count. And I can't get away. And I'm going to burn forever and ever and ever. I'll go to heaven. So what am I going to do when I'm through fighting? I only have 16 years to be productive. Get myself ready to meet God and go to the best place. Don't that make sense? I can't say how good I am. And no true Muslim will brag or even will even take a chance on saying he's good or he's halfway good or not it's up to Allah God to be the judge see so I'm not going to say one thing about uh, how good I am because I don't know we never get good enough I'm always striving to be right so I choose to follow the Islamic path because I've never saw so much love I never saw so many people hugging each other kissing each other Praying five times a day. Go to any country. Say, Assalamu alaikum, alaikum assalam. You got a home. You got a brother. I chose the Islamic path because it connected me. Do you have a bodyguard? Do you have? <laughs> no, you don't. I have one bodyguard. He has no eyes, though he sees. He has no ears, though he hears. He remembers everything with the aid of mind and memory. When he wishes to create a thing, he just orders it to be and it comes into existence. But this order is not conveyed in words which takes a tongue to formulate or with sound carries ears. He hears the secrets of those on the quiet thoughts. He stops those whom who's that? That's God. He's my body. He's your body. He's the supreme. Allah is my God. You said it. you're winning the championship. Being a follower of the Muslim religion had something to do with your winning the championship. Well, I would say so. Uh, my religion is what the only thing that I can give me credit for pulling me through because 99 out of 100 seemed to see no possibility of me winning. The newspaper reporters and everybody all over the world could nobody believe it. So uh, my prayers to uh, Allah and uh, faith in my religion, living a clean, righteous life, I have to say that's what pulled me through.